How's it going everyone? Sergio here, back with another inventory update at Brampton Mitsubishi. And we have a 2022 Nissan Sentra SV. It's gonna be the middle trim, well, yeah, the middle trim of the Nissan Sentra lineup. This is Nissan's uh, technically smallest vehicle now that they no longer make the Nissan Micra. Uh, this will compete things with like the Honda Civic, the Toyota Corolla, Hyundai Elantra, Mazda 3. Um, yeah, this is a great looking vehicle. I've been a real big fan of the new redesign on the Nissan Sentra. Again, it's a, a really large uh, upgrade over the previous generation. Uh, now with the obviously uh, V-Motion grille of the new Nissan products. Again, a great looking car. Love it in this gray color. The alloy wheels look good too. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. This being the SV, so it's full remote keyless entry. And on the inside here, you're gonna be finished in a cloth interior. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. So this vehicle has fairly low mileage. So we have just over 20,000 kilometers. And on the inside, really nice place to be. So flat bottom steering wheel again, a little bit of a sporty feel to it of their their kind of racing pedigree. Uh, Nissan actually has a full racing um, series of just the Nissan Tentras and you can buy these from factory with a full racing kit. So a full roll cage, upgraded suspension, all that kind of stuff ready to go. So very, very cool that Nissan does that. They had it with the Nissan Micra and they do it for the Sentra. They call it the Sentra Cup go figure so you have full automatic headlamps here intermittent wipers again a plethora of buttons across the steering wheel here so this will come with a lot of the safety systems that we kind of expect on new vehicles so you have the blind spot monitoring i actually like that they have it on the inside of the pillar a lot of vehicles they have it out on the mirror but it'll light up orange just here on the both sides obviously you have your radar guided cruise control uh, your front emergency braking, your lane departure, that's all set up here for you. Again, the center screen, you have some adjustments to go through. So different screens and views that you can take a look at to really customize what you want to see. Again, you can see all your safety systems here all kind of set up. Obviously power windows, power locks, no surprise there. Center stack, actually really nice. I like how they integrated the um, the vents all into this kind of turbine style. So you have your open and close, so you just twist it to open and close it and then you just kind of point it you know wherever you want to have it obviously standard heated seats in the front you have dual automatic climate control uh, on this sv model and again this eight inch touch screen again a fairly simple system to use satellite radio am fm bluetooth apple carplay android auto all kind of there for you let's check out the backup camera not too bad so you do get the guidelines in this vehicle so as you turn the wheel you'll see the car kind of let you know where it's going to go and again as usual you can see where the rear bumper is you know exactly where the car is connection wise not too bad so you have usb type a and c and then you still have an aux cord a 12 volt socket here and a little bit of storage so it is a full push button start and it does come with the factory remote starter built right into the key something that nissan is fairly good for and the push button i like down here as well rather than being tucked away and hidden up on the dash Cup holder is pretty good, center console wise, not too bad of space. Glove box is a pretty good size actually, and the door pocket's not too bad. You can fit a half decent water bottle and everything inside to there. Let's go ahead and check out the back seats. So in the rear, again, this car has kind of grown over the years, same as every other kind of compact sedan in this, this kind of class. Again, the Corolla, the Civic, they've all gotten much bigger. And you can see there's quite a bit of leg room, nice bucketing on the seats too. So you're gonna have lots of support. In the middle here, you do have your center armrest with your cup holders as well. So again, lots of usable space. And you do happen to get a USB back here for your rear passengers as well. Trunk wise, again, this being a sedan, you get a nice large trunk. So big opening here, lots of storage to tuck in on each side. And those rear seats, they do come down as well. Spare tire in the back, which is nice. And again, everything all nice and easy. Again, if you're looking for something with a little bit more style than the usual kind of breed of this class of vehicle, it's gonna be a great option. Low mileage, excellent on fuel. And again, some nice features on the inside. If you have any questions, Sergio from Brampton Mitsubishi.